can I do like kind of a thing that you can cut into the beginning? Or I could be like, I could be like, um, it was incredible. No one knew it was coming. House shows changed. They changed everything. And then you could you could have that at the beginning too. You have people from all around town, and normally they go into a basement, and it's really loud, and you have to wear earplugs. And so instead of that, we decided to have quiet noises in our living room. We decided to start making videos of local musicians um, when they were at the shows at the house, but then we would film them kind of like what's happening now, except if I was playing guitar, if you can even imagine, crazy. And then it would be like a snapshot of them. scrounging around Austin looking for things and uh, we come across a old black and white TV. I was like, oh, I could draw a picture in here. Um, <clears throat> and so we drew Blackbuster video. Um, and I guess now that's iconic. Never been a gig in a Blackbuster video until now. The first time that I went to BBV, I was, I think, 17. And I was still in high school and I did poetry and I was looking for somewhere to do poetry. And I was like, I'm probably the youngest person here and I want to be as low-key about that as possible by reading really moody poetry in front of a lot of people <laughs> in a living room. But it was um, a good experience in that I feel like I got to form more of my identity and feel like I was a part of something after previously not feeling like I was. It's six in the morning, too late to go home. Sweet balmy Mondays, waking me so. Just go ahead, we'll talk after the show. Then we'll know, oh, we'll know, we will. Because it's like, no one's there, but we were just like kind of hanging out, but they played music anyways. In fact, one of them like ran through an album that I don't even think was his. And that was awesome. He like pressed play on his computer, like his MacBook, and he was, a, he was just doing acoustic guitar for all his other shows. But then it was like stadium rock, and he pressed play, and then he just sang like Aerosmith. But because there was only like me and Mandy there and Julia, it was great. That was the best one. Because they're all very special for very different reasons. Sometimes there are shows here that you're like, the people who are playing are good, but then like the people that will show up are really interesting. Usually it's like three normal people playing and then one who's like a teen icon. Uh, the people love that person. Um, and usually they're like, it's maybe like two guys, both with acoustic guitars, and they play like a sexy song. Um, and it's really uncomfortable, but all, everybody loves it. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on like who are these people there is a kid here but the kid was really cool the family was really cool but I specifically felt really stressed out very suddenly by reading my poems because I had one called come <laughs> and I was like and I think I say like like come or like fuck like a million times kid here and it sucks and the parents were really nice about it and I like went to them and I was like I don't know I don't feel good about this and they were like no oh my god you were amazing and I was like I feel like I did the wrong thing now. <laughs> a music scene is kind of like a potluck but with no food and instead of your favorite music you have to listen to someone else's music 
Sometimes it's pretty good. I mean, it's not. It's not like what you'd be listening to on your. It could be what you're listening to on your iPod. You could make an event for that on Facebook, and people will show up to it, and that's absurd. It's calm. It's serene. I was actually very uh, thankful for it because I felt like I had like good friends for the first time in a long time. It's good to throw shows. I'm still throwing shows. DIY. There's no way to um, truly experience the magic of BBB <laughs> other than you just had to be there. You just had to be there um, experiencing um, a lot of people sitting on the floor and hanging out. A music scene is kind of like a gym, but for people who are lonelier. Well... <laughs> <laughs> It was um, bizarre because I was like, you don't normally see people like singing along at house shows and that is exactly what was happening and I was in awe of what we were experiencing. Oh, 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 oh. That was like a really good sounding room. I try, and, uh, I find sometimes that it can be like singing happy birthday. <laughs>